You are watching CIO TV by Enterprise IT World, a production of Accent Info Media. Hello and welcome to CIO TV dot live Enterprise IT World. Mia sister concern. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this episode of CIO Conversation is brought forward by Finesse. Uh, today, our guest is Mr. Mamun Al Hamsi. He is the CIO of Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mamun, for taking time out and speaking to CIO TV Live. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you. Uh, I'm happy to be with you on, on, on this on this session. All right. Before I proceed further, ladies and gentlemen, let me give a little bit of introduction of Mr. Mamun. He is an experienced CIO with a demonstrated history of working in banking industry. He is skilled in digital strategies, tools and processes, IT strategy management, and project portfolio management. He is very strong information technology professional with uh, a lot of uh, you know credentials to him. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I welcome Mr. Mamun to this conversation. Mr. Mamun, thank you very much. Being a leader, a very senior leader, what is the kind of trend you are seeing in the banking uh, sector post COVID? Uh, banking sector is progressing very fast in terms of the different innovations uh, that where banks are offering uh, uh, many digital services in order to acquire more customers. Uh, as you know, in UAE, uh, there are uh, 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 many banks who are trying to expand their market share and offer their unique services to their customers and acquire more customers. Hence, I think it, it's a very competitive market and we are, as Adib Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank, we are also going into this type of competition and we are also trying to be unique in the market. All banks uh, now are uh, in, in their different digital transformation uh, uh, engagements and exercises, and uh, they want to also be unique in their offering. So I believe it's a healthy environment, and the competition is very high. Mm -hmm. Everybody is trying to prove uh, his uh, high capabilities in order to acquire more customers and increase their uh, businesses uh, and get, of course, a uh, higher customer, higher, higher number of customers with uh, better customer uh, satisfaction and experience. All right, now the other competition for the bank is from the payment uh, agencies, payment go to the alternative platform uh, are evolving in the fintech industry, which is almost uh, uh, working like parallel banks. And it is giving a lot of challenges to the banking sector as well. So what's your view on that? I, I see it a little bit different. Okay. Uh, yes, there are some uh, type of uh, uh, challenging rivals coming to the market. Mm -hmm. especially the only digital banks mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, those banks are, are actually focusing on payments. You are absolutely right. Uh, still, there are also, uh, uh, there are also uh, other uh, um, uh, sectors coming into the uh, financial sector uh, and compete with them uh, on providing financial services. Uh, uh, we feel again that uh, uh, this uh, high competition is uh, making banks to innovate more uh, and to provide uh, uh, much better services to the customers. Mm -hmm. We uh, 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 in, uh, let me let me speak about Adib here. Adib is trying to make common grounds with those different. Uh, uh, competitors, uh, if I may say, in order to see how what are the, the, the common grounds that we can uh, agree together and cooperate together in order to provide better services to the customers. Mm. Uh, while there are ways of cooperation, still the competition is going higher and higher. 
Uh, of course, as you know, those uh, small, uh, let me say, players are much agile and, and uh, faster uh, with their uh, offerings. But I believe well structured banks are also uh, doing uh, a good a good type of uh, progress in their digital offering to the customers. So this will continue, I believe, if not, uh, it's going to increase as well. Uh, uh, but we're trying to find common grounds and cooperations with those rather than competing with. Well, it's something uh, post COVID, uh, the scenario is uh, well noted where uh, uh, banking system from core banking has gone into the distributed banking from uh, ATM banking to the uh, in mobile banking. Uh, similarly, the authentication, KYC, everything is happening on a different platform, uh, you know, digital platform. Video KYC, you are you 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 are paying or you are withdrawing money using your mobile phones as well, and with this uh, there has been changes in uh, um, compliances. I I believe that uh, it has been a different compliance uh, now adapting to uh, to the new uh, uh, new age banking system. So, what is your view on this entire transformation in a year or two? that the uh, banks have seen? Uh, well, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the uniqueness in offering is very key mm. to banks. Uh, so when we talk about the, uh, when we talk about offering a new product, then we have to make sure that the journey associated with the process that we want to uh, uh, give to the customer is well done. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is done in a way to make the customer uh, uh, press let's click, do let's click when he wants to get the service. Of course, the whole required, uh, require, the different requirements from compliance, from risk, from, uh, you know, uh, all the all the necessary things that need to happen have to happen for the sake of the customer. Mm. The regulator is protecting banks, protecting the consumers as well, and we want we want to make sure that this service that we are providing digitally over a, 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 the mobile or internet banking or whatever you whatever channel you have is secure, uh, uh, regularized, and also free of fraud or attempts of fraud. And this is and this is all goes to uh, the customer, uh, of course, interest. So once you provide such safe uh, products to the customer, I believe the customer will be extremely happy about it. Mm -hmm. the, uh, as long as it is transparent to the customer, he doesn't feel the complexity. Everything is happening behind the scenes for him. It's only a couple of links uh, of a click, and he gets the service that is extremely secured and regularized and has no gaps or uh, uh, flows in in in. Okay. Okay. Biggest, very senior leader, uh, very senior IT leader with uh, uh, decades of experience and seen the entire evolution in IT industry. How, what is your plan or how are you taking the, um, um, you know, Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank on a very digital led, uh, technology led offerings? Uh, Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank was and is still at, mm -hmm. uh, at the front when it comes to the digital offering. Okay. Uh, our mobile app is on the top of the list in UAE uh, as rated by the, the customers. Mm -hmm. Our customer base, uh, they uh, uh, are heavily using our digital uh, uh, channels, especially the mobile app. Uh, due to its richness uh, and its uh, scalability and new and ease of use. Okay. Uh, and this has been, uh, we have been awarded many rewards uh, in this regard 
because we are studying, as I said earlier, the customer journey in a very uh, uh, in a very structured way without complicating it. Where we feel simplicity is power. Okay. Our mobile app, different functionality is uh, uh, serving the customer 360 uh, uh, degree from service perspective. Uh, he can do whatever he likes to do as if he's sitting in the branch. Mm. Uh, he uh, can ha receive the different analytics necessary for him to understand his expenses. He can also use other channels like chatbots to do the same thing he's doing over the mobile app. Mm -hmm. Of course, internet banking will stay there, but other channels are coming to the picture uh, for uh, serving the customer uh, at his convenience. He can use this channel or that channel, but our strategy uh, was always first, uh, mobile first. Uh, and this is all uh, powered by the uh, different uh, infrastructure plans that we have and uh, uh, front-end uh, best-of-breed applications. Okay. Uh, we are already going to the cloud, and we have moved our loads to the cloud, and uh, most of our customers have started using those different applications from there, which means that if this is giving us an advantage from uh, the uh, availability point of view, security point of view, and rich, richness of, uh, of uh, functionality. This is on the mobile app side. From the branches, we are also digitizing the journey of the customer for the different services because we feel the customers also sometimes want to uh, visit the branch. They like to interact with our staff. They like to uh, visit and talk to uh, the uh, different staff members there and we are digitizing their experience. So uh, our branches are becoming like cafes, something that, or majlis, they can talk and they can do their own services and, uh, uh, and in a very pleasant way uh, without taking a lot of their time uh, because everything is automated. So they can, uh, they can visit uh, our website for services as well and they can go through the different channels that we are offering. So it is extremely convenient and they can use whatever device they would like to use uh, to get the, the, the services at their, at their tips. So uh, in general, uh, and this is evident by the different surveys we managed to uh, uh, conduct with our staff and they are extremely happy with the experiences, the different experiences on the different channels. And this is why I'm saying our mobile app was uh, ranked as the top uh, uh, mobile app uh, in the market in UAE. Okay. Invention has always been one thing that came naturally to man. From the great ancestor of us all who discovered the wheel, we have been moving forward with each step of our evolution to build bigger and greater things. Monuments and pyramids to technological marvels, making sure we stay one step ahead of the world around us. At Finesse, we have reached an important milestone in that journey. What began with the wheel is now our evolution, with the digital transformation of businesses being the crux of the whole operation. Whether it be by improving aspects of robotic automation to improve workflow in the manufacturing sector, or developing artificial intelligence and chatbots almost ready to pass the Turing test, we can safely say we are at the cutting edge of what technology has to offer mankind. The man who built the first wheel would love to see what his invention has left us with. A path forward we climb in ways never imagined. For as someone said, if you're setting out to do something, do it with finesse. Any projects that you are embarking upon now to achieve in 2020-20 end?
a new product or new yeah. capability that you want to bring into the banking system? Sure. I mean, uh, uh, we, we, I mean, being on the top is not the end of the journey. Mm -hmm. We have to maintain this, uh, this type of ranking. And on that basis, we are going uh, through the next level of digital uh, journey, uh, which you will hear about in the coming uh, six months, uh, where we will be introducing uh, totally uh, uh, a new offering um, uh, to our customers through uh, the, the uh, proof of concept for uh, the metaverse technologies. We are also going through uh, uh, the UI, a new concept of technology where the customer can uh, 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 talk to the mobile app and 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 go through uh, his uh, and and do the services through that. Uh, we are also uh, going through uh, uh, the new concept of uh, building ecosystems. Uh, uh, bank as a service, a, uh, uh, so we can also uh, offer our services to the business banking sector, to the SME, um, uh, which we feel there are great opportunities uh, over there to uh, to complete our journey offering not only to individuals, also to the other business sectors. All right, I think there is uh, less light uh... At your place, uh, that's a sensor waste, I believe. You have made it yeah. with, uh, because of no movement in the room. Yeah, okay. this is part, part of our strategy and sustainability is to okay. reduce our oxygen, uh, carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, now from an expansion point of view, this of the Islam Bank is not present in, only in the UAE, but uh, in other places, other countries as well. So, what is your expansion plans, and how, as a technology leader, you are enabling those branches? Uh, I mean, we will uh, we will keep uh, we we do exist in uh, three or four countries for mm -hmm. for the time being. And uh, the uh, the uh, strategy for Adib is to expand uh, to other geographies uh, through our digital offering. And this is something that we are already uh, planning to do. It's going to be part of our uh, uh, coming uh, period, inshallah. All right, then. Thank you very much. And uh, any boardroom suggestion uh, uh, happening? you know, direction that you are getting as a uh, senior leader in information technology, any desire that they have uh, that you want to achieve for this year, any target that you are taking? Yeah, this uh, this year, I mean, by December, we should be able to uh, 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 reach, uh, to complete, our uh, current level of digital journey okay. uh, and uh, we need to uh, make sure that all the different uh, layers uh, that we have uh, working on already are all uh, modernized. So uh, you will see in the coming few months uh, a big change in the way we, we are offering our services. All right, Mr. Maman, uh, a couple of more questions regarding the backend technologies that you are using. One is obviously you are into cloud computing. Otherwise, flexibility, agility is very, very difficult, whether it is in-house or outsource, doesn't matter. That's one. The other things are other technology, including uh, artificial intelligence, which you might be uh, you know, using in different projects, you know, authentication or uh, you know, identification or fraudulent activities in order to check the fraudulent activities. Similar to that also, we are seeing a lot of banking sector using uh, AR, VR, uh, augmented reality and virtual reality to, uh, you know, before any large uh, funding, uh, institutional funding happens to any project or anything. So, What's your take on that? Have you ex are you experiencing the same thing also? 
No, these technologies we have already, we started mm. using those technologies last year, uh, uh, talking about uh, AI uh, in data analytics, AI in understanding the behavior of the customer, mm -hmm. AI in, in uh, 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 generating leads uh, and understanding the future customer needs, not only okay. his behavior, we also use the AI in our back office uh, for further digitization and increasing STP, mm -hmm. uh, where we are aiming to have uh, zero operations uh, by uh, end of next year. Uh, so the journey has already started. Uh, at the same time, uh, the data analytics that we have been Going through, we have built a very strong uh, uh, engine for big data, and it is it has been used for the last uh, maybe I can tell two years in in building use cases uh, for and uh, to understand the customer's uh, uh, need, uh, and it has been very much useful and beneficial to both to the bank and to the customer. Okay. In addition to that, uh, we we are, uh, uh, as I said, looking into the metaverse through the AR, VR mm. uh, thing for mm. some use cases okay. of which we, we will be uh, uh, able to tell you about it uh, in the coming uh, near future. Uh, uh, and also the conversational uh, 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 ML uh, and natural language use mm -hmm. in dealing with the customers. Uh, okay. uh, we are also um, exploring these capabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we, we looked actually a um, couple of months back into uh, understanding uh, the voice uh, interaction and transaction uh, with the uh, with the uh, to make it as a channel uh, to our customers. So all of these are coming. Um, uh, we're working on and then using it uh, for the benefit of uh, enriching the customer experience. All right, all right. Uh, good to hear from you. Uh, uh, last two questions. Uh, the penultimate question is that um, we are seeing a lot of blockchain and crypto payments happening even digital you know the retail industry has adopted they are also uh, their transaction is also has also started with a crypto banking must be there at the forefront of uh, uh, you know blockchain and uh, crypto what is your suggestion on the on the crypto levels uh, i believe we have to um uh, we have to understand the regulations behind this first. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe uh, the regulator is working on something okay. uh, where they will start uh, legalizing this, regularizing it, and put the necessary processes for it. Uh, and when we talk about Islamic banks, crypto has to be looked at in a very uh, uh, close way. So we and we offer the right product to the customer at the right time. Uh, it's part of our agenda, but uh, for the time being, we are trying, uh, we are waiting for the central bank to see what kind of regulations is he going to issue uh, because, you know, this digital currency is, all, is also something the, the, the central bank is going through. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to make sure that we align with the with the regulations uh, before we start engaging ourselves uh, with any use case for the time being. All right. Uh, then uh, the my final uh, question is: What would be your advice to the peer group in terms of uh, um, technology usage or right budgeting and as far as adopting right technologies? Uh, my 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 understanding to the trends in the financial sector for the coming one or two years is that there is no uh, escape. There is no 
uh, way, but to use the latest technologies to enrich the customer experience and be unique in the market. Not doing this will be actually something that everybody will regret uh, by, through losing the customers, uh, not the, uh, uh, the customers not being interested in the, in the offerings and in the products and the channels that are going to use legacy technology. So uh, 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 financial institutions have to always be ahead of the customer expectation. And this can only be done through using the latest technology. Uh, this is my advice to everybody in this, in this regard. All right, Mr. Mamun, uh, thank you very much uh, for taking time out and speaking to CIOTV.live. It's an absolute pleasure on my part to have this conversation, get the nuggets of information and uh, knowledge from you and help industry understand from this conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure uh, meeting with you in this session. Thank you a lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Mamanal Hamsi, CIO, Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank. If you have any question or query, my email ID will be given at the end of this conversation. Please ping me. I'll get those answers, those questions answered from, from Mr. Mamun. Thank you very much for watching.